sweets. Thanks. On me? No, I just want to test your ability to taste. <laughs> stop! Stop! Stop playing around. We have work to do. Today, I want you to gather all information about acid and alkaline on Earth. Are you ready to go, guys? Yes, sir! Do you know that I can still taste the sourness? That's good, Mira! Why do we taste differently when we taste different types of food? Is it because of our tongue or the food? The food makes it different, silly. So, why do raw mangoes taste sour but cocoa powder tastes bitter and water is tasteless? Why? This is because the substances found in mangoes, cocoa powder and water are made up of different matter. These different types of matter cause substances to have different properties. Understand the properties of these substances and you will understand everything about what is acid and what is alkali? Sugar and sugarcane taste sweet. Salt and soy sauce taste salty. Vinegar and orange taste sour. Coffee tastes bitter. Water and rice? Quite tasteless. All these food items have their own chemical properties. The chemical properties of food are determined by the amount of acid or alkali in them. Do not forget, there are also neutral substances. There are three types of substances. There are acidic substances, alkaline substances, and neutral substances. Acidic substances are substances that contain acid. Acidic substances have a sour taste. Examples of acidic substances are vinegar, pineapple, orange, mango, and tomato. Alkaline substances are substances that contain alkali. Alkaline substances have a bitter taste and also feel smooth when touched. Examples of alkaline substances are soap, toothpaste, baking powder, shampoo, coffee and magnesia milk. All other substances that are not acidic or alkaline are grouped as neutral substances. Neutral substances have a plain taste, sweet taste and salty taste. Examples of neutral substances are rice, salt, water, sugar, and cooking oil. Let's taste these products. I want to know 
whether it's acidic or alkaline in substance. You don't have to taste to know their substances. There is another way. What? Besides tasting it, we can determine whether a substance contains acid or alkali by using a moist or wet litmus paper. Litmus papers are strips of paper that are coated with special chemicals. There are two types of litmus paper, the blue and the red. To test the substance, touch the substance with both the red and blue litmus paper. The colour of the litmus paper before and after touching the substances are then observed. When a red litmus paper changes to blue after touching a substance, it means that the substance contains alkali. Therefore, the substance is grouped as an alkaline substance. If the red litmus paper does not change colour after touching a substance, it can mean two things. The substance could either be neutral or it could be acidic. So, we need a blue litmus paper to test the substance. If the blue litmus paper stays the same, this means the substance is neutral. The same thing goes for the blue litmus paper. The blue litmus paper will turn to red when it touches Acidic substances. Let's try it. Aha! The blue litmus paper turns to red. That means this substance is an acidic substance. Cool, huh? I want to test this cocoa powder with the red and blue litmus paper. Let's see! Look at that! The litmus paper doesn't change colour. This means that the cocoa powder is neutral. No, you are wrong. What? Why? For your information, the cocoa powder that you are testing is dry. The litmus papers are also dry. You cannot get the correct result by using dry things. Your litmus papers must be wet or moistened if you want to test dry substances. OK, let's wet these litmus papers. Wow! The red litmus paper turns to blue. The blue litmus paper doesn't change. This means... The cocoa powder is alkaline in substance. So, remember guys, wet your litmus papers first before testing. <laughs> <laughs>